Hello students, myself Dr. Sachin Kapoor and I wish you a very warm welcome to this session of Zoology Lecture. The topic of our discussion today is Spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the process of formation of male gametes. Male gametes are sperms. You know that sperms they are formed in testes and in humans the testes are extra abdominal that is located outside the body in a pouch like structure called scrotum. Why? Because the sperm production, maturation and storage requires few degrees lower temperature than the core body temperature. So let's discuss about this process spermatogenesis that how the sperms are formed in the testes. First of all, please remember that this process begins during puberty, that is during sexual maturity and then it continues till death. That means a male continues producing sperms throughout his life but with the advancing age, the total number of sperms produced or the sperm count reduces, the number of healthy sperms produced reduces but sperm production continues. This process is regulated by LH and FSH of anterior pituitary. LH is luteinizing hormone, FSH is follicle stimulating hormone. So these two hormones through blood circulation, they act on specific cells of the testes. The receptors for LH that is luteinizing hormone are present on interstitial cells or the Leydig cells which are endocrine cells of the testes. And in response to LH, the lady cells, they secrete the male sex steroids collectively called androgens. One example of the androgen here we have given is testosterone. FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, it acts on Sertoli cells which are the supporting cells of the testes and Sertoli cells secrete inhibin. In our previous lectures, we have discussed about this endocrine regulation. So, this inhibin has a negative feedback effect with FSH. So, all these hormones, they are collectively regulating this process of sperm production. So, if you are asked a question, which hormones regulate sperm production? LH, FSH, testosterone. Even inhibin is involved in this because inhibin keeps a check on the level of FSH. The germinal cells of the spermatogonia, they are very sensitive to temperature. That is the reason the testes are located outside the main body cavity in scrotum because scrotum provides a favorable temperature for healthy sperm production. Now, as you can see in this flow chart, the spermatogonium, when you say spermatogonium, that refers to the single spermatogonia. Spermatogonia is plural, spermatogonium is singular. The spermatogonium undergoes growth phase and they form the primary spermatocytes. Meiosis starts in the primary spermatocytes and we get secondary spermatocytes. As a result of meiosis 1, the number of chromosomes gets halved. So, it is secondary spermatocytes. Meiosis 2 happens in secondary spermatocytes and we get spermatids. This process of formation of spermatids from spermatogonium is called spermatocytogenesis. So, we can say that overall spermatogenesis can be divided into two stages. Spermatocytogenesis, spermiogenesis. Spermatocytogenesis is formation of spermatids from spermatogonium. And finally, these spermatids are differentiated into sperms. So, this process of differentiation of the spermatids into sperms is what is called spermiogenesis or sperm teleosis. Spermatid, as you can see here, spermatid is a kind of oval structure. This is going to change into the sperm, which has acrosome, which has tail. So, this process of differentiation is what is spermiogenesis. During spermiogenesis, acrosome is formed acrosome of the sperm, it develops from Golgi complex. It can be compared to a modified lysosome. This acrosome has many hydrolytic enzymes which are collectively called sperm 
license like high alluronidase this high alluronidase enzyme it is involved in facilitating the process of fertilization that we'll discuss in detail that how these different enzymes they dissolve the various membranes which surround the oocyte there is high alluronidase neura aminidase zona lysine corona penetrating enzyme acid phosphatase alkaline phosphatase so many enzymes are involved in this process of fertilization so during this differentiation process the acrosome of the sperm develops right the sperm acquires a definite species specific shape there is head region there is middle piece which has mitochondria which are acting powerhouse of the sperm and then there is a flagella also please remember sperm is the only cell in the body which has flagella so this is what is the spermatogenesis process we can divide it into two sub stages spermatocytogenesis spermiogenesis is it clear to you now remember that throughout their development the sperms remain embedded in the membrane of the satellite cell see if i draw a transverse section of testes say this is one satellite cell which is having highly folded plasma membrane i'm shading it this is one satellite cell let's show one spermatozoa this is the sperm these are spermatogonia right towards the periphery so the spermatogonia has changed into sperm but this sperm remains embedded in the membrane of the sertoli cell finally when the sperm are released from the membrane of sertoli cell into the lumen of the tubule that process is called spermiation right so what is spermiation release of sperms from the membrane of sertoli cell into the lumen of seminiferous tubule so please make yourself acquainted with these terms this is spermatocytogenesis this is spermiogenesis and this is what is spermiation right so that was about the